Thanks so we calling. appreciate it. All right. One last call. Uh, we've got, we got two this. minutes. Okay. Okay. Nick in Wisconsin, we've got two minutes. What's up? Okay. Geez. Uh, let me uh, try to get this <laughs> as I can. Um, uh, thanks for having me. And I, uh, I wanted to call in because via a couple weeks ago, and this is during the holiday season, you said something I actually pretty strongly disagreed with. Interesting. What's that? Maybe, maybe I had it wrong. Um, you were talking about how when you're at your family for, you know, holiday dinner or whatever, mm-hmm. um, they'll all bow their heads and say grace, and you just won't bow your head. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that's wrong. Okay, why? Um, I think I, I, their house, their rules, they're feeding me. Um, and not only that, at family dinners like that, there's going to be little kids at the table. Mm-hmm. So if they look up and see me not bowing my head, all of a sudden I'm proselytizing atheism to them. And you know what? They're not my kids. Well, I mean, there's a there. Yeah. I can I can see where you're coming from. I disagree with you. Mm-hmm. I think that uh, in my case, especially, uh, it's it's my house too. Uh, that's the understanding that my mom has laid out. That this is our house. That you are just as uh, mm-hmm. equal a you know, part of this family as anybody else. So I have just as much right to act in a way that is in accordance to my beliefs as everybody else in that room. Um, and I think that honestly, part of what part of what my goal is is to embody a uh, free thought, for lack of a better term, for my younger siblings. So if they look up and they see I'm not bowing my head, I consider that a win, honestly. There's also the the morality. There's also the the morality argument against it. For if you are bowing your head and practicing a religion simply because you know you're there and and that's what everyone else is doing. That's profoundly dishonest. It's it's saying, hey, I'm I'm a part of this. I'm you know f- following this belief that I don't believe. Okay, um, fair enough. I I know we're running out of time, but um, I'd, this this is kind of a similar situation. I uh, was on vacation in Thailand one time, and we met some locals. They were really nice. They showed us all the places that tourists don't go. Mm-hmm. One of the places we went to was a Buddhist Buddhist temple, and um. When you leave the temple, first of all, it was an amazing cultural thing, but when you leave the temple, you have to basically pick up the statue of Buddha and put it over your head as a sign of respect. I did that. I don't, I'm not a Buddhist, but I did it because, you know what, I was in their temple. Mm-hmm. That, that, that's the way I see it, you know? Mm. Well, there, I, I see goal, that, and I think that that was probably the right call um, because you were being polite, but I think there's a big difference between visiting a foreign temple with locals who were nice enough to show you around and being in your own house. Um, yeah. So I think that I think that we agree on half of this. Okay. Yeah. And, yeah. And I'm not saying you're, you're you're not a nice person or anything. It's just you know, I, I would have handled it differently. Basically, I, I just bow my head, even if it's dishonest. You know what? They're beating me, it, and it's not my house anymore. It, it's my parents' house. Um, so that that's the way I see it. Okay. Well, um, I would actually like to talk to you more about this if you want to get in touch with me on Reddit or Discord or wherever. Um, mm-hmm. But we do have to jump off. Um, But thanks for calling so much, Nick. Thanks. Thank you. I think on that last note, Mm -hmm. I I do think if you're going into a place of worship and you are choosing to go there, you know, I went to the Western Wall and put the yarmulke on. There's places where, you know, you go where you might take your shoes off in a temple or something. And I've, I've been to temples and churches all over the world. It's like I'm stepping into their place of worship. So I'm not going to be loud and disrespectful and start, you know, screaming, there is no God. I'm going to follow the rules of the place that I'm in. Right. But when you're in a home, especially with family, it's like just to not bow your head. You're simply saying like, I'm being polite. You're not saying there is no God. You're not being vocal or rude about right, it. Exactly. You're, you're not saying, standing please there. don't pray in front of me. You're saying you do you. I'm going to do even me. If, even if family's all gathered in a circle and holding hands, I'll sit there and hold hands while we do the prayer. But I'm just kind of like, eh, it's not my thing. Yeah. And and I'll I'll keep my eyes open and sometimes my nephews and nieces look up and I'll just kind of just smile or something or make a funny face. And <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I usually make a funny face. I'm I'm sensing a pattern here with the hypnotists and in the prayer circle. <laughs> winks. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to go along with <laughs> like I'm not going to pretend to believe something I don't believe. Right. I'll be respectful in places of worship, but I'm not going to pretend like a